So it is 18.07 p.m. It is Sunday, so happy Central Sunday, and also happy Daylight Savings Time for you psychopaths that have to turn your clocks ahead an hour. I hate that goddamn shit. I slept too long today because of that shit. I had to take my medicine late. <laughs> Fuck. So I got a movie to run off, actually, for now. This is one I haven't done. I loathe this movie more than Star Wars OT, and they're like neck and neck for hate. It's Blood and Chocolate from 2007. Yeah, I read this book going on about five different times now. I love the book. I hate the goddamn movie. It's a shit show. The, let's see, the characters are all pretty. Don't like that. The Vivian is a blonde. In the book, she's a brunette. Tawny brunette. And tall. <sighs> um, they changed everybody around. The... I think not Rafe. Um, I can't remember. The dude she's supposed to go with, the biker guy, is a leader of a gang. When he's really not. Oh, it's so fucking bad. The only thing they got right is one scene in the movie. And that's uh, Vivian's home. I was like, wow, they got that right. Everything else is wrong. It's so bad. Oh. But yeah, and the shittiest part is that they didn't even consult Annette Curtis Klaus for any help on the book at all. No help on the movie. None. And of course, this is 2000, so yeah, this is when the young adult books were all adapted and shit. You were dealing with the end game of Harry Potter, uh, and then slowly edging towards the beginning of the Hunger Games deal. And whatnot. But yeah, this was definitely coming up on the end of the young adult era of novel adaptations. So sad. And this book came out in the 90s and they fucked it up. <sighs> Jesus. And I haven't watched it since. I bought it when it came out. I was excited. I was like, oh, my favorite book. And the movie was a dog shit show. God. So yeah. Do I recommend it to you and friends? Yeah, if you like shit show adaptations, go for it. Try it out. See how you feel. If you've never read the book, I highly recommend reading the book because you'll be very impressed with how mature and ahead of its time it is versus what the movie decided to do. Ugh. So, so sad. <laughs> It's just so, it, it could have been a great fucking film and truly an underrated gem, but no, they had to fuck it up. Uh, so sad. I feel bad for Annette, though. She didn't even get any phone calls at all. So sad. And she didn't even know until it came out. <laughs> That's even bad. That's even worse. God. So, I give Blood and Chocolate, the movie, a easy 1 5 out of 10. Just because the scene was uh, matched the book. So fucking disappointing, God. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. So, I have a, another slideshow to upload. And... Uh, I may or may not have more movies. I don't know. I have to check my memory yet. So, yeah. But, yeah, I will be back in a little bit. So, stay tuned.